the panda. He was a hustler. Better than Clegg, you see, it's in the other company, the chums are no other person, so as a mother. Was a girl was a performer, was a good fashion. You know, Instagram, Facebook, whoever, every family is a you know, you won't pass on as a little in the eyes. I'm gonna miss you to buy. I love you. Says of you, my young. We went to school. So I was a bit earlier than, than his. I feel like we have nothing of money savings. Now usually because of filming, if I'm shooting at it, then we get my back jammed and we say, there's a how did anyway. Did you have a book at a chum at a chum so panel did no go a panel and big thing? One thing about it tobani. This is your best of a man, this is restaurant, young owner, sip, I can see it, goes out, see me, get a big plate, take it in a necessity, kill a bit. Most of all, put your jaws around. You can as a good restaurant, you're so much under the chop. You feel a kind one. Now, you love it, your man. It's a good one. It is a little true, but I put the noise. I will miss you. For now, my husband does not come to me. He was not there. That's what he was about. Hashtag means in Jojo. Okay, I know Tawani is out of town. 
and then email and I call cops coming to my office and he says, hey, we want to book to an installing for Ring of Lies. Before I even tell him, he sends me a WhatsApp. He says, I'm back. <laughs> I'm like, yes! That's a bitch. It's so going to be happy to have this general guy take up this role. Um, so I book him. I confirm everything. And I send him a script and a call sheet for him to prepare for tomorrow with directions and locations and everything. And then Tony sees the email and he calls me. He says, Brian, what is this? I said, hey, you just put the ring of lies. He says, yeah, I mean, it's the cake. He says, he's back. I asked him and I shouted at him. I said, Tony, this is unprofessional. You're going to make me look so bad. He said, yeah, I said, I'm back, but I'm back with a bag. <laughs> he really meant it. He was back with a bag. And, I, you know, I, I was angry with him for a week or two. But once he came back, we had a chat, a long chat on our files are never really long because he, he was the type of person that would admit when he's wrong. So when he came back, he started going to commercials castings. He got shortlisted for some. Um, and then he got a call that is a production by the producer of Empire the series, the music series. And Lee Daniels is the producer of it, and Krista Scumpega, the top director in Africa. Wanted to see him along with his team. So, they wanted Congolese people. I don't have Congolese people in my books. Maybe other agents do. What I had was performance. So I had to take the top six of each caliber that they wanted in terms of the look they wanted and that kind of performance that they wanted and Tobani was one of them. He said, Brian, I'm not Congolese. I, mean, I don't look Congolese, look at it. <laughs> and I knew he didn't. But I knew that he was a performer. He was a performer I and mean, if you could give him anything, he would take it and give you a story. So he was nervous about the whole situation. So he took the script and he went to see this director. After the audition, I called him. Because I call everyone in my books after a big audition like that, you have to just make sure they're okay. He said, what happened? He said, oof, oof, oh, Krista, flexes your muscles. He did this, he did that. He was really excited. And it was never about booking it. Friday. I think it was the day that I received the most shocking news of my life. Oh, wow. You never want to hear something like this. I couldn't believe it. He was full of life. Why him? He, we had so many plans. So, rumor had it that he passed on. I couldn't believe it because everybody's calling his agent to verify it. I don't know. Okay, it's confirmed. He has passed on. I could not work for the first two weeks of it. Let alone just talk to people. My phone would just ring and ring, but it was hard. The twist of it all is that um, on Monday, of it, Krista calls me and says that Tomari offered them hospitality in terms of what they were looking for. He might not have a great look, but on tape he was a stellar performer. He took direction to lengths that no other actor in that audition did, and he owned the room. And they would like to offer him an opportunity to shoot with Jamie Fox here in South Africa and in the USA. What a big show is 
if this was going to be another big thing in the country. Literally, this was his USA debut. If South Africa had realized what they had, then this was the time. Who do I tell? I kept it to myself. I couldn't tell her. She's, she's a mess. But again, it has proven to the industry that a guy from Buffalo came to do and a real hustler. And he owned it. Unapologetically, he was his own person. Looks, the acting skills, and everything about him really explained character. And it's so risky.